essentially what they're saying is that America, A, has become too unequal, and B, that some of the people that cause the problem are in good shape today, and a lot of them aren't. This can be a positive thing, but they're going to have to kind of transfer their energies at some point to making some specific suggestions. A new Time Magazine poll out today shows a majority of American voters favor the Occupy Wall Street movement, 54 percent. 23 percent have an unfavorable impression. Tension is building tonight between the owners of Zuccotti Park and the growing number of protesters who've called that park home for the past 27 days. Starting tomorrow at 7 a.m., Brookfield Office Properties, Inc. plans to move protesters out of the park park while they clean the area. That message delivered by New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg in a surprise visit there last night. Brookfield Chief Executive Richard Clark wrote a letter Tuesday to New York Police Commissioner Ray Kelly saying, after weeks of occupation, conditions at the park have deterior deteriorated to unsanitary and unsafe levels. Commissioner Kelly had this to say today. It's complex that people had a right to be there properly, but Brookfield has a right to sort of establish the, the groundwork. So that's what's happening now. Uh, they now have decided that uh, they want to clean the, the area, and uh, they're going to do that. We'll stand by to make certain that uh, you know, the peace is maintained. Commissioner Kelly says the protesters will be allowed to re-enter the park after its cleaning. But according to a notice distributed from Brookfield, camping and or the use of tents, sleeping bags, and simply lying down will all be prohibited in the park. Occupy Wall Street's clean, uh, cleanups Facebook page reads, Friday morning we'll awake and position ourselves with our brooms and mops in a human chain around the park linked at the arms if NYPD attempts to enter will peacefully nonviolently stand our ground and those who are willing will get arrested. Joining me now, moveon.org's campaign director Daniel Mintz who has just delivered a petition to New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg in an effort to stop tomorrow's efforts to vacate the park. Daniel, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks, Lawrence. What does your petition to the mayor say? It's pretty simple. I mean, I'll read it. I've got a copy of it right here. It just says, respect the protesters' First Amendment rights. Don't try to evict Occupy Wall Street. And what is your understanding of what is going to happen there tomorrow? Is there any new information about what Brookfield, the owners of the park area, have and the police, what they have in mind? No, we haven't heard anything. You know, we, uh, about 100 people, marched the petition up to City Hall just a couple of hours ago. More than 200,000 people have gone to moveon.org since noon today to sign this petition to say these people, there's no reason to evict them. It's totally unnecessary. You know, they're here peacefully assembled, exercising their First Amendment rights, and it's just a completely unnecessary move by the mayor. Uh, Russell Simmons has just tweeted, I am hearing about a potential showdown at Occupy Wall Street tomorrow. I am offering to pay for the cleanup of the park to avoid any problems. Uh, Daniel, do you think there's any possibility of that kind of offer by Russell Simmons being accepted? It's a very generous offer, but I don't think it's needed. I mean, there have been dozens of people back behind me cleaning up the park this evening. You know, the park is really clean. If the mayor wants to do something for America, he should go clean up Wall Street, not Zuccotti Park. Uh, Chris Hayes actually has tweeted uh, earlier tonight that he thinks the best thing that the mayor could do to raise even more attention to this cause is to force, attempt to force an eviction from the park. What do you imagine would happen if the police do attempt to force that eviction tomorrow? I mean, we've seen it several times. Every time that the NYPD engages with protesters makes mass, arre mass arrests, you know, the, the movement only goes, grows stronger. That's why they're, you know, they've really struck a chord. They're standing up for the 99% of us who've been left behind in this economy and, you know, against the 1% that are now set to evict them from this park. You know, the, sitting on the board of the, the owner of this park is the mayor's girlfriend. And so, you know, that's who's been putting pressure on the mayor, you know, th this, this property company to kick these people out. They don't like the fact 
fact that they've struck a chord with, with the 99% of Americans who are suffering. Daniel Mintz of MoveOn.org. We are less than 12 hours away from this attempt to uh, vacate the protesters from the park. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Lawrence.